Hello, it's me. Crazy Rebecca dances with pit bulls. Fighting with my camera again. Yes. Welcome to part eight of Let's Make a Crazy Quilt. Oh yeah, my stuff's over here. Let's deconstruct some thrift store clothes. Let's do, yes. Because there's lots of good fabric. Uh, somebody gave me this. I am going to trust that she is not watching my videos. And even if she is, whoops, meant to do that. Um, hope she understands that I need this. I need this in a way not on my body. Because have you ever worn this? It's that's itchy. I'm sorry. Who who thought this up? Who thought that this would be a good idea? It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but it's not comfortable. So I cut across. Now I went up the shoulder and now I'm going to go across the back down the shoulder I have been doing this for at least 25 years maybe 30 maybe 30 years So let's see what we got here. One big piece of gorgeous fabric. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this seam off. I believe there's a dart right there. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's get the seam here. I will leave these bottom hems. Just because. And let's take this straight across here. Five nice pieces of fabric to go in our bundle. Because this is so pretty, we're not going to waste any of it. You just follow the seams. I think I'm cutting some interfacing. What am I cutting? Shoulder pad. Shoulder pads make good pin cushions. So let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and do the sleeve. So you find the underneath seam, the bottom seam of the sleeve, and follow it up, and then outside of the shoulder seam,
clean these up later too. So I think you get the point. You get the point on this kind of stuff. You don't want to waste it. So I got the front and this sleeve left. But let's move on to this pair of pants that evidently I already cut at some point. But let's take the waistband off. Now, I'm pretty sure I bought this at the thrift store. Find your seam here. Somebody asked me if I wash my thrift store clothes only if they smell. Sometimes I hang them out on the line. Sometimes I throw them in the dryer. But I only wash them if they smell. Yeah, go ahead and take this seam off. Here's a tip. This is stretchy velvet. You want to keep this toward the center of your block. Don't be using this on the edges until you, until you get a little experience under your belt. Or go ahead and try it because you're not going to get any experience until you do it. It's that old conundrum. How are you going to get experience if you don't do it? But be, be aware that it is stretchy. So pants are easy. Pants are easy peasy. And you get a lot of fabric. I also like wool pants. Satin pants. Any kind of interesting texture or pants. But I especially like velvet pants. My boss will be wearing this. Uh, it's got dust on that from somewhere. Okay, you get the point. Here's a hint. Here's another hint. <laughs> if you are around people that don't understand this, they are going to scream when you start cutting clothes up. They, they don't get. They don't get it. Don't let that bother you. You are making something beautiful. And why should they care what you're if you bought this clothes <laughs> at the thrift store? You can do whatever you want with it. This is a beautiful blouse. If this blouse fit me, I would wear it. 
This blouse is a medium. I wear an extra large. <laughs> Therefore, I do not have any compulsions about cutting this up. I'm going to go up this side seam first. Because I want to show you something that has a curve in it. I like this piece has the buttons on it. When it's a cool piece like this, I like to leave it. We'll just take like this because you can sew, you can hand stitch or machine stitch this edge with those buttons and have pre-made decorations on your crazy quilt. This has a bunch of seaming. I'm going to just take up on this one and over. It's burnout, burnout velvet. And it's way pretty and way cool. I think I'm going to leave that seam for now. Let's take the way cool cuffs off of this. This is cool. Why, oh why couldn't this have been an extra large? That's what I want to know. You can save the cuffs and use them. Or you can cut them and whatever. Sleeve. of this thing I usually just cut that off but you have a nice piece there to use okay so you get the gist of that now with this one I don't know it's up to you whether you're gonna leave the button whole side on or not just these see look those are different so you're getting two different velvet fabrics out of one shirt okay. I actually bought this to wear and it is so uncomfortable. So, I'll show you what it looks like. And, see, XL, it fit me. <laughs> and it's Christopher Banks, but it's itchy. So, it's got to go. I got this at the multi-agency, so I paid like a whole dollar for it. So there's the seam here. I'm going up it. And I'm going to take this black pleaty fabric off first. Okay, 
you got to be careful when you're sewing with pleats like this because you don't want to flatten them. So you carefully sew and you carefully iron. It's great texture though. So look at this big old long piece of fabric in black. Let's take that off. Seam here. I'm going to follow this around. doesn't have to be perfect. You got plenty of fabric here. Oops. I've been out of sleep there or something. I'm just going to go across. Now I got this beautiful lace fabric. We'll cut that later because I am itching to get a hold of something over here. That is my Get off there. <laughs> My three dollar wedding dress. It it's too little for me. I'm not getting married. I was gonna wear it though, like just wear it on camera. But <laughs> I can't even get my arms in these sleeves. So let's just take one of those bad boys off first. I hear the thousand, a cry of a thousand voices saying, don't cut the wedding dress. Well, it's stained for one thing. It's a size extra small and it's mine and I shall cut it if I so desire, which I do. I'm going to use part of this you come on you with that pink and white fabric from that I've been using with from the dress from the thrift store that I started with for the this I'm gonna use some of this with this Yes. Okay, this is gorgeous. So. Look at that. Look at, that's just the sleeve. Oh my gosh. Take above the waistband because of those buttons. Uh oh, no. Oh, we have to dip down. See how stained up it is? Okay. 
So when I was buying this, the lady goes, what are you going to do with that? She goes, I almost bought that. What are you going to do with it? So I'm going to cut it up. She goes, I was going to cut it up. I said, we should get together and cut things up. Hopefully I'll see her in there again. That was a new thrift store for me. Um, I'll take this off. It benefits domestic violence, I think. So look at this train. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at Oh my gosh. I can't even. I need more room. I need more hands. I'm just going to go for it. I need to cut like this to preserve those lace things. I am in my happy place. I have actually made quilts out of people's wedding dresses before. Like keepsake quilts. So think about it. Think about it. Okay. So here's a piece I just cut. Gorgeous. This. this whole piece can stay together for now. Oops. You could even like tea dye this to hide those stains. That's been walked on, I can tell. That's like dirty gray. So she got she had fun in her wedding dress, okay? She spilled stuff on it. And she walked on it. She probably danced all night in it. And now it's going to be in something beautiful again. Yeah, I don't have to look at this thing. So, no, I'm going to share no more. And you got yards and yards of just plain white satin. So, do you get it? Are you afraid? Are you ready to run out and get a prom dress? Or find a $3 wedding dress? I would pay up to $10 for a wedding dress. Because, hello. <laughs> it's still got yards and yards and yards and yards. Oh my gosh. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I really don't care. <laughs> it's mine. Mine, mine, mine.
Turn this thing off.